In addition to the global mesh controls, one can apply local mesh controls to define certain mesh features in specific areas. The first one that we will add is called Match Control. What this will do is match the nodes of different surfaces. So for now, let's uncheck the section plane. And to add match control, right click on mesh, mouse over insert and select match control. Now click the top yellow box and select one of the quadrilateral faces. I'll choose this one. And then for the other box, select the other quadrilateral face. For axis of rotation, we'll choose global coordinate system. And then click update. Now, each node on this face corresponds to a node on this face. So if we stick the two faces together, the nodes at each face will touch each other. And this is an important step to do for making the full 360 degree visualization that I talked about earlier. Next, we will specify the cell size on the blade surface. Again, right click on mesh and then insert sizing this time. So for the geometry, we want to select the blade and this is how the name selection comes in handy since we don't have to keep selecting surfaces each and every time. Um, so change the scoping method to name selection and choose blade. For element size, input 0 0.3 meters and one could obviously specify different sizes here, but I found 0 0.3 meters to give a reasonably coarse mesh in order to have our first simulation solve in a relatively fast time. We're gonna talk more about cell count and mesh refinement later on in the verification and validation section of the tutorial. So let's also change the behavior to hard. This tells ANSYS to use 0 0.3 meters for all cells without exceptions. So just so you get to see what each local mesh control does, let's go back to a view that we can see the cell surroundings, the blade. Okay. And so see this is before. And now we're gonna click update. You should be able to see that the cells are a bit larger now. Next, we will add an inflation layer around the blade. Let's first make it and then I will explain what it is. So again, go into insert, but now choose inflation. For the geometry, select the whole body. Make sure the body selection tool is selected. And click apply. Now change the boundary scoping method to name selection and choose the blade surface. So here you might need to press enter on your keyboard. And then let's just keep the default settings for the other parameters. Now update your mesh. Okay, do you see the small elements on this side here? So this is what we just did. Um, these inflation layers are useful for external flows to capture the boundary layers on an object. And these cells are hexahedrals instead of the tetrahedral like elsewhere in the model. The last thing we will add is a sphere of influence. This will let us refine the mesh around our body so that we more likely obtain accurate results in this region of interest. To more easily put this sphere where we want it, which is around the blade, let's first create a new coordinate system. So 
So right click on coordinate system and then insert coordinate system. Here we'll want to change the defined by to name selection and choose our blade. Okay, now let's insert a new sizing. This time we will choose the whole body for the geometry and change the type to sphere of influence. The sphere center will be at our coordinate system that we just created. Let's input the sphere radius to be 30 meters and the element size to be 2 meters. All right, let's see what we just did. So here's our sphere of influence. And if we look at our mesh, we can see that it's more refined in this region.